We're back with another Fantasy Goodfellas video where we talk about the top 30 wide receivers for week 13. But before we get into it, let's review how we did on week 12. Okay, well, in week 12, we have we had Adam Thielen at 8, who didn't play. And we have Chase Claypool at 18 and Deontay Johnson at number 23, who are yet to play. They will play tomorrow. Again, we like to do these videos early to get people thinking early in the week. Um, so of the remaining 27 receivers, we hit on 17. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It was a good week for receivers. Again. All right, let's get started for the top 30 wide receivers for week 13. The fantasy good fellas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And number one, we have Tyreek Hill, home against Denver. And man, Tyreek Hill has been unbelievable, Ryan. Yeah, for the last four games, Tyreek Hill has averaged 146 receiving yards and two touchdowns. And with Patrick Mahomes, Hill's the number one receiver. You can argue maybe Rodgers, Devontae Adams, but I'm with you. Right now, Mahomes, Hill. And number two, Devontae Adams, home against Philadelphia. Another very good receiver with a good quarterback. And number three, we have DK Metcalf, home against the New York Giants. DK Metcalf leads the league in receiving yards. He's also in the conversation for best receiver. And number four, Adam Thielen, home against Jacksonville. Hopefully, Adam will be back this week. He's got a great matchup. Kirk Cousins has been hot. And number five, Keenan Allen, home against New England. New England's been pretty good on defense, but Keenan Allen is a great receiver, and Justin Herbert is his quarterback. Number six, A.J. Brown, home against Cleveland. The touchdown machine, A.J. Brown. Have to put him in our top ten. And number seven, Justin Jefferson, home against Jacksonville. Ryan, what do you have to say about Justin Jefferson? Minnesota is going against Jacksonville. They're ranked 29th against the pass. I definitely see why you want to put Thielen and Jefferson in the top seven. Number eight, Robert Woods at Arizona. This is a game I think will be a shootout. This week's week shootout. shootout. Kyler Murray, Jared Goff. Um, I expect a lot of receivers to do well. And number nine, Stephon Diggs at San Francisco. Tough defensive matchup, but Stephon Diggs has been pretty solid all season. We trust him here. And number 10, Chase Claypool, home against Washington. Chase Claypool is the touchdown maker for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and Ben Roethlisberger's been passing a lot this season. 11, Allen Robinson, home against Detroit. Can Mitchell Trubisky be the man that frees Allen Robinson? At number 12, DeAndre Hopkins, home against the LA Rams. DeAndre Hopkins, he's been hurting fantasy owners in recent weeks. Ryan? He's the 12th ranked wide receiver in standard leagues. In the last four games, he's averaged 66 yards and only has one touchdown in that span. Like you said, he's totally killing fantasy owners with his play. Hopkins is a, is a great receiver, um, but, you know, he got drafted very high, you know, probably the second or third receiver drafted in most leagues. And, and you know, the production he's been giving you uh, in, in the last four weeks, it's not good enough. At number 13, we have Terry McLaurin at Pittsburgh. I love Scary Terry, but he's got a tough matchup this week. Even with Alex Smith as his quarterback, Terry does well. So Pittsburgh defense might not stop him either. At 14, Deontay Johnson home against Washington. Who is Pittsburgh's number one guy? Is it Claypool? Is it Deontay Johnson? I'll tell you who it's not. It's not Juju. Ryan, what do you have? In the last three games, Deontay Johnson has averaged eight receptions with 101 receiving yards, but only has one TD in that span. But Big Ben has been looking for him. He has a crazy amount of targets in the last three weeks. Um, the problem is he's not scoring. At 15, Devontae Parker. Home against Cincinnati. Great matchup for Devontae, who went over 100 yards in Week 12. Ryan? Yeah, it's interesting. Devontae Parker has gone over 100 yards with Ryan Fitzpatrick as his quarterback. So this week, they're going against Cincinnati. They're ranked 22nd against the pass. I think he's going to have a good game. Number 16, Cooper Cup at Arizona. Cup had a disappointing game in Week 12. I think he's going to rebound against Arizona in Week 13. At number 17, we have Amari Cooper at Baltimore. And there is no doubt that Andy Dalton 
has a favorite target, and it's Amari Cooper. Number 18, Tyler Lockett, home against the New York Giants. We talked about him last week. Here's a guy whose stock is falling. This week's this fantasy, fantasy player, player stock, stock is, is falling. falling. How much is Tyler Lockett going to fall right now? We have him at 18. 19, Brandon Cooks, home against Indianapolis. All of a sudden, Brandon Cooks is the number one receiver in Houston, which should add to his value. But they're playing one of the best pass defenses in the league. We'll see how he does. At 20, Calvin Ridley, home against New Orleans. Julio Jones may not play again. The problem with Calvin Ridley is he's up against New Orleans, who has been outstanding in recent weeks. At 21, Michael Thomas at Atlanta. Taysom Hill passed for under 100 yards um, in week 12. So it's tough. It's tough to move Michael Thomas up, even though we know he's the guy that Taysom Hill will throw to when he throws. Yes, yeah, so Ryan, what do you think about Michael Thomas? We've been saying Atlanta's defense isn't that good. They're ranked 31st against the pass. I think he's going to be able to run after the catch against that Atlanta defense. Just get him in the ball and see what he can do after the catch. Yeah, there's, there's no way we're not putting him in our top 30. Number 22, welcome back. Debo Samuel home against Buffalo Debo had a great week in week 12 let's see if he can keep that momentum going in week 13 at number 23 Nelson Aguilar at the New York Jets this is a great matchup for the Raiders can Derek Carr take advantage Nelson Aguilar has been his number one and has been pretty good all season at number 24 Corey Davis, home against Cleveland. This is a favorable matchup for the Titans. We expect both A.J. Brown and Corey Davis to do well. And number 25, Jerry Judy at Kansas City. We're not high on Drew Locke, but we think he's going to have to pass a lot, obviously, to keep up with Mahomes. And Jerry Judy is going to get a good amount of targets. At 26, Juju Smith-Schuster who will be home against Washington. He's looking like the third man on the totem pole. Plus, he had a foot injury. We still think there's going to be enough targets for him to, to be here. He's starting to become that number three receiver. And number 27, Jacoby Myers at the LA Chargers. This is a favorable matchup, but Cam Noonan's uh, been struggling. But Jacoby Myers has been his number one guy. And number 28, C.D. Lamb. At Baltimore, tough matchup, but there's no denying that CeeDee Lamb is a talent. And Andy Dalton has looked okay. At number 29, Jarvis Landry at Tennessee. We're putting Landry in here because of his excellent week 12. We'll see if he can carry that momentum into week 13, but Baker Mayfield is his quarterback. At number 30, Christian Kirk, home against the LA Rams. It's a tough matchup. And Christian Kirk was amazing about three, four weeks ago. Uh, lately, he's been struggling every week, and he's, he's on the verge of being knocked out of our top 30. So he's definitely a player whose stock is dropping. This week's this fantasy, fantasy player, player stock, stock is, is falling. And there you have it. That's our top 30 for week 13. Thanks for sharing your top 30 wide receivers, and good luck to you. Thank you.